Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make your photos move a little bit with animated GIFs. I'm going to show you a Photoshop tutorial that's actually really easy if you've never made GIFs before. Um, we are going to put photos into a timeline sequence and I'm going to show you how to export them in two different ways. Uh, we're going to export as GIFs and also as video. Uh, with GIFs you can add them to things like your blog posts just to make them a little bit more interesting. And with videos you can drop them into any video timeline and you can also post them on Instagram. So let's get into it! Photoshop. And you're going to go up to File, Scripts, and Load Files into Stack. Uh, you're going to click Browse. I have a folder for my GIFs. I'm going to hit, I'm going to click and highlight all of them and bring them in. And then you're going to hit OK once they're loaded. OK, cool. So what you want to do is click on the first image and you're going to scroll down and hit shift click and click on edit and then auto align layers. And then you're just going to use the auto function. I'll hit OK. Photoshop will do its thing and try its best to line up the images. Cool. So the first thing you're going to notice is the image might look a little bit wonky, um, but we're going to fix that right now. So you click on the first image and you're going to hit this button, Create Frame Animation. So that adds our first image to the timeline. The next thing you want to do is hit this menu icon that's on the right and select make frames from layers and that'll bring in all of your layers into the timeline. One thing that Photoshop does uh, you'll notice is that now the first image is actually your last image and your last image over here is your first image so you want to reverse that by hitting this menu icon again and reverse frames. So now we're in chronological order again. Okay, uh, now you'll see that there's these huge negative spaces on the outside and that comes from the auto align. So what we're gonna do is crop in to get rid of those negative spaces. Okay, now that looks pretty good. We've got most of the image cropped in. You can still see their friends a little bit. They've been lost a little bit in the crop, but that's okay. Okay, so once you have the crop how you'd like it, and there's no more negative space in the image, you're going to select the first frame and then click Shift and highlight all the images. Down here you'll see the delay time, which is at zero seconds right now. Um, I personally like to have my delay set at uh, 0.15. Um, that just kind of makes it nice and smooth, not too uh, jittery looking. So then you want to make sure the loop is set to forever and click play. Cool, I'm happy with that. That looks great. Okay, so to export the GIF, we're going to go up to File, Export, Save for Web, and a little preview is going to pop up. You can zoom out to see what it looks like. So there's presets right up here, and there's a couple different options, but I like to use 128 Dillard, and I leave everything else the same. Um, I usually like to change the size 
because 11 megabytes is pretty big. Um, so from 1600, we can go to like a thousand. And if you look over here, you can see just how much that'll change the size. It takes it down to three, so that's great. Um, you can hit preview and see what it looks like on the web. That looks pretty good. You can go full screen here. Cool. Yeah, I think that looks great. Um, you wanna make sure that your loop is set to forever um, so that when it's playing on the internet, it'll just keep going over and over again. Um, then you'll hit save. And I'm just gonna to save to my animated GIF folder. We'll call this Portland Wedding GIF. Hit save. Boom, the GIF is good to go. So let's say you wanna export this in a video format because you want to use it within a video or you wanna make like a string of animated GIFs in a video format. Um, or you just want to share this on the platform like Instagram. The first thing you're gonna do is select your first frame in the timeline and you're gonna hit shift click. And then you're going to hit this little duplicate icon. And that will just duplicate all of your images. So now you have doubled your timeline size. So instead of doing forever, you're just going to change that loop option to once. And if you want to hit play, you want to make sure it's at least three seconds. That's at least what Instagram requires. Um, if you want to make it longer than that, you can just highlight all of your images again and then double it again. So to export video, you're going to go hit file again, export, and then instead of save for web, you're going to go down to render video. Okay, so then you want to title your video, say Portland Wedding, and then I'm going to export this to my desktop. Uh, everything else I'm going to keep the same. So then you're going to hit render, and it'll take a second to do that. Okay, so then if you want to check out your video, you're going to go, let's see, I had this saved to my desktop, so open that. And there it is, in video format, cool. And it's four seconds long, so this is long enough to share to Instagram. Also, you'll notice that with video, the quality is much higher than in a GIF, so um, that's another benefit of using a video format. If you thought this video was helpful, please let me know by giving it a like. And if you want to see more tutorials related to photography or to the wedding industry, please subscribe and you'll get a notification when my next video comes up, hopefully very soon. Hey everyone, today I am going to show you how to make an animated gift. <laughs> hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make your photos. Photos? It's GIF, not Jeff. It's not Jeff.